Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football as usual. I am your host, Selassie Pidawe. Today we're going to talk about something interesting that happened over the weekend. Saturday night, Ghana West set to win another world title, Super Bantam with title. Fortunate for us, uh, Duke Micah, who was the boxer in question, lost in the third round. I'll be giving you more details on that as well also we'll be talking to you about uh, kevin prince boating and now kevin prince boating has joined uh, monza and uh, monza is a fast rising Serie b side who kevin prince boating has left the Serie a side in fiorentina uh, to join he reunites with former acquaintances and something interesting about this move which i will be telling you later today and zamalek of egypt have bid two million dollars uh, for the signature of richmond Boachi yadom Boachi yadom uh, was called up in march to the ghana black star squad but this current setup he was not called up we'll be hearing more about that move and that bid uh, from egyptian side zamalek uh, for richmond Boachi yadom as usual subscribe if you have it click on the notification bell uh, to get more updates we'll just jump right into it i'll start off from the boxing and which is something I rarely talk about but Duke Micah has failed to secure the WBO Super Bantamweight title after losing in the third round to Filipino John Real Casimero and now he was set to win the title for Ghana and now Duke Micah was set to secure another world title for Ghana and unfortunately he has lost it now he lost the Super Bantamweight title um, to Filipino Real Casimero John now Micah started the fight really well by using his jab but seemed to fizzle out physically as the fight progressed now the Ghanaian went down in the second round but make it back on his feet in time to see how the round despite enduring punishment from Casimero for nearly one minute now the 29 year old whom prior to this fight was 24 0 and 19 knockouts was checked by the ringside doctor and was past fit to continue with the fight but was unable to see out the third round as the champion casimero finished him off with an uppercut to extend his knockout streak to six out of six fights wow and the defeat means Micah is likely to end the year 2020 without a world title after similar endings of the year to the year 2019 and 2018 when Komi and Iso Dube lost the IBF lightweight and WBO Super Bantamweight titles uh, to Lopez and Imano Navarrete respectively. So Duke Micah unfortunately could not get that title uh, for Ghana. Uh, Casimero the Filipino knocking him out in the third round there so so sad by that I, I hoped Ghana would have a boxing world title before the end of the year it looks like we ain't getting that not anytime soon 2020 will end with us having a boxing title so that is it there on the front of boxing and we'll move to football now and Kevin Prince Boating is the man on the move once again and move to Barcelona to Besiktas Fiorentina to Besiktas and now back he is going to Syria B side Monza where he will be reuniting with old acquaintances now AC Monza patron Sergio Belesconi has backed down on his absurdly wrong claim that he would only sign Italians with tattoo at the club after snapping up Kevin Prince of Boateng and now Boateng has made another shocking transfer after joining fast rising Serie B side AC Monza from Fiorentina ahead of the upcoming second tier campaign now the Maverick forward Boateng is reuniting with former AC Milan president and politician Silvio Berlusconi at the, Sant uh, at the Stadio Brai Braintio. And now the transfer sent a shockwave across the country uh, following a statement made by the robust politician in 2018 that only Italian football with crazy hairstyles and tattoos will play in his new club Monza. Now fast forward 2020 and Berlusconi has abjured his words after signing Ghanaian international Kevin Prince Boateng whose body is entirely covered in tattoos. It is however no surprise as the forward had two spells at AC Milan and one of such was under Monza chairman Adriano Gigliani and Paolo 
Berlusconi, who served as the Milan vice chairman in 2013. In his second spell in 2016 at San Siro, the Portsmouth East played under Monza manager Christian Brocci and now has an opportunity to reunite with the trio. Boateng spent last season on loan at Besiktas in the Turkish Superliga, making 11 appearances and scoring two goals. They finished a third on that occasion. The German born forward is expected to bring his wealth of experience to this Serie B side and help them secure promotion into a Serie A. Now, the German born forward is expected. Uh, he has made 15 caps for the Ghana Black Stars and following the debacle of World Cup 2014, he has not made a return into the Ghana Black Stars squad. And we all know the story there uh, with Kevin Prince parting at the Black Stars. He has been asked to apologize. Apology not forthcoming. <laughs> it's quite interesting. But he has secured a move from Fiorentina uh, to AC Monza in Serie B. We'll be following him closely. This channel does that, following Ghanaian players abroad. We do that closely well and African players who make the headlines abroad. We follow them closely and report to you how he's doing with Monza. My final story, it has to do with another Ghanaian player, Richmond Boache Yadom. Now Richmond Boache Yadom, amazing player for Red Star Belgrade. He is a person of interest for Zamalek who have bid $2 million for him. And now the Egyptian side have made an offer to Serbian top flight side Red Star Belgrade for the signature of the Ghanaian. He looks to have gone down the pecking order in terms of preference at the club in the past year on the back of injury setbacks that left him spending time on the sidelines. Now in the ongoing summer transfer window, information picked up saying that Zamalek are interested in him. Now according to the reports, the North African club have made an official offer of $2 million, $2 million for the Red Star Belgrade man and they have commenced to talks in a bid to secure the services of him. Though talks are said to be ongoing smoothly, the Serbian giant is yet to accept the bid from Zamalek. Now Richmond Bachiarum is 27 years of age, he has loads of experience and Zamalek feel he will be a great addition to them. He has played with Shansun Suning, Atalanta, Elche, Juventus and others. So that is it there from the camp of Richmond Boachi Yadom. Zamalek are interested in signing him. As to whether he would be interested in that move is another matter altogether. But Zamalek have made their interest known in the Ghanaian and they are looking to snap him up and make him their top priority target going into the new season. So that has been it for today. $2 million offer for a Ghanaian player Richmond Boache Yado. Should he move? Should he stay? Kevin Prince Boate has, has secured his move to Monza in Serie B, reuniting with old acquaintances in the process. We'll see how he does with his new side after leaving Fiorentina in this summer transfer window. Also, um, Jude Micah, unfortunately, could not uh, secure the Super Bantamweight title for Ghana after being beaten in the third round a technical knockout by his Filipino opponent, John Casimero. Your thoughts in the comments box on everything. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day. Have a great weekend.